Hello and welcome everyone to the Essential Oils Basics class. We're going to get back, back to basics tonight, back to the 10 core oils that we, we know and love. Um, so whether you, you use oils already, you've got a kit, you want to make the most of it, or maybe there's one oil in that kit that you think, I never use it, let's make the most out of it, we want to make it uh, the best value. Um, also maybe shake up your routine if if you're feeling like you, you're a bit stuck in a rook, or maybe you're not really using your oils as well as you should be you know life's like it takes over you think i haven't used my oils for ages and um, just a bit of a refresher so we're going to be doing this using the uh smaller star to get the family kit um so if you've got that great it doesn't matter if you haven't um you can get hold of one fractionated coconut oil so these are all the things that you you need to get started so if you are a complete beginner then make sure you get them carry oil ideally from fractionated coconut oil because it's non-greasy and it's odorless and it spreads really well and absorbs and helps the oils absorb and um, if you've got a diffuser then that would that's wonderful um because that's just going to really help you make the most of your oils for all the families so any type of good uh, diffuser that's ultrasonic and it's using cold water and what would be useful to have around is some roll of rollerball bottles um either five mil or ten mil and um, that way you can make your own blend up with that and we'll show you how to and it's not necessary but if you do have some veggie caps then um, we'll show you how to make a little capsule up with that as well so without further ado let's get started so in the kit i'll just i'll basically just share the best ways we can use it. We'll start with lemon because it's the, probably one of the most versatile of the oils in the kit. So we've got the lemon oil. Um, please pop in the chat because we want it to be interactive how you use your lemon oil and how often you use it um, because it'd be great to share ideas. So it'd be great to have some interaction there. So one of the most basic ways of using lemon oil is just simply in the morning, pop in a drop or two in a glass of water to really cleanse the body start the day that way before you have a tea or coffee because it's really good to cleanse our filtering organs like our liver and kidneys as well as our digestion so that's just to start with very simple start jane does that too that's wonderful if you have if you want to sort of cleanse your home as in the odors in your home then just put your diffuser on fill it with water and put maybe two or three drops of lemon and maybe one drop of peppermint just to cleanse the air um, if you're having a good clean and you want to just get rid of any lingering odours, let's say you've had, you cooked a meal and there's some lingering uh, smells. Um, that's great. I'm glad you find it useful as well. Um, so that's lemon in water daily and use it in the diffuser to cleanse the atmosphere. So it cleanses the body gently. It's very gentle. It's alkaline, so it's not acidic. And we can also use it to green clean our home. So you may want to detoxify the products that you use because we know that if we use a lot of the cleaning products on the market contain a lot of dangerous chemicals so one of the ways we can use it is we could just put it in a spray bottle with um white vinegar and water very simple um this is a glass cleaner so with it with it being a glass cleaner i used half vinegar half water so 50 50 and then i put my drops of lemon in so maybe depending on the size of the bottle 10 to 15 drops that from a glass cleaner, it's stronger vinegar concentrate. If I'm just using it as a multi-purpose cleaner, then it's just a third uh, vinegar, two thirds water. So it's just less the vinegar um, and you, you can tell the difference. And with that, you can add your lemon, but you can also add the other oils in the kit, such as oregano, which is incredible for like pathogens and viruses and bacteria, on guard and tea tree. So you've got like four in the kit there to be really good um, in a spray bottle for green cleaning. But particular lemon, if in doubt, use lemon. It's one of the cheaper oils that you can go through and it lasts a long time. So green cleaning in your water and, and diffused. Um, also, lemon is great for focus as well. So if you feel like you're maybe a bit distracted, you need to concentrate. If you just put a drop of lemon in your hand, it is known as the oil of focus. So if you just maybe put a drop of lemon in your hand, and do some big deep breaths for four and out for four. Lemon is incredible at increasing our happy hormones as well. So that's good. So we're covering all bases, house, home, body, <laughs> mood, 
um, and everything. So great one. And if you have any permanent marker or sticky stuff, put a drop of lemon on it and just rub it with a cloth and it, it gets rid of anything. You know, when you buy stuff and it's got these stickers on that never come off it, and it's got that residue, just rub lemon over and it's gone. It's the only thing that works for me. And just remember, always use a glass bottle if you're putting it in water or an aluminium bottle, not plastic. So that's lemon done. Really simple way to use it. Um, some people even brush their teeth with lemon. That shows how alkaline it is. You put a drop of lemon on the tooth brush, either before or after. I can't remember what Lisa said she does. Um, it really cleanses the mouth as well. Oh, lemon and orange together for cleaning. So if you've got wild orange and lemon, that'd be a lovely one as well. They've both got different properties for cleansing. So combining it would be wonderful. That's a great idea. I'm loving the chat. Thank you for your help. So the next one we're going to talk about is um, tea tree. So tea tree, also known as melaleuca in your kit. So if you've got that one, um, this is like your first aid oil. And it's incredible for if you're traveling, I would definitely take that with you because it's great for bites and um, bumps and things like that, scrapes. It's really good for helping to repair the skin. Um, we know if you've had like a jellyfish bite or a sting, it helps to draw out the infection. But also when my boys were a little bit younger, they used to be prone to earache and that was incredible, just around the ear, uh, rubbed over just to help with the ear infection. Um, you can use it on athlete foot. You can use it so many ways for antifungal. Amp uh, also in that spray bottle, you can really add the extra sort of antibacterial, antimicrobial uh, power with tea tree, a really good one. Um, also, we make, um, you know, like you get a flour or a icing sugar shaker. We put it with put bicarbonate of soda in that and we put tea tree and lemon in, mix it together, maybe five drops um, of each in the sugar shaker and then it's like a trainer deodorizer so we just um shake it into the trainer so you've got that like white powder but it deodorizes it cleanses and helps to ward off uh fungus and things like that i think there's like some on the market in the for, for feet like a foot talk and um, so you can make your own but also you can actually just um put it on your carpets rugs and back it up as well to freshen the carpet that's a really good way of using tea tree so bites, anything like that. Um, and of course it makes, if you combine tea tree with lavender and frankincense in a little spray bottle, um, you actually make an ouch spray, which is great for um, just having as a first aid spray. If somebody's cut themselves or they've burnt themselves, it helps to cleanse the skin, regenerate the skin and soothe the skin. Lovely. Yes, thank you for that as well. Tea tree is great for any throat infection. And you can actually gargle tea tree. Great for any bacteria in the throat to gargle and spit out. Um, and that's really useful. All the sort of MRSA viruses and bacteria, tea tree is wonderful. Uh, so a great first aid one to have around. Did I mention spot? Just straight on uh, neat. Good as well. Or spots. Um, healthy nails as well. Just putting it over the nail area just to help uh, keep the nails healthy. Oh, I keep keep remembering stuff. A drop in your shampoo as well, or a drop into a couple of drops into an oil, and you can actually do a scalp uh, cleanse just to help with dandruff and flaky skin. So really good for that. And then we've got on guard. So this should be um, making more of a use this time of year as things start to happen. Uh, people back to school and in environments where it's like warm and cold environments, and then there's lots of things coughs and sniffles. So on guard, if if you're not doing it yet, I would intermittently put it in your diffuser. Maybe set it up in the morning, during the day, or whenever people are around, just to help to. It's gonna when you're gonna breathe it in through the diffuser, it's gonna enter your lungs and help to cleanse the lung area, um, from any infections that may be lurking, um, and it's just gonna help to create that nice cozy atmosphere this time of year as well, um. If you are, if you've got a bit of toothache or gum problems and you rub it straight on the gum, I'm brave enough to rub it on the gum and it's great with the clove oil, it's a natural analgesic. If you're not brave and you or you don't want to do that because you think that's silly, Rachel, just put some coconut oil on and rub it onto the straight onto the gum. Um if you like to have a natural more mouth mouthwash, then you can um you can just get a small glass of water and put a drop of on guard in and then 
swirl your mouth with it as a natural cleanser of the mouth. It's great for oral health. Any sort of mouth infection that uh, may be brewing, then this will help ward that off. And again, it's a great one for earache as well and sore throats. Um, so they've got quite a few to gargle for sore throats. Um, I didn't know, don't know if you joined the last class uh, last a few weeks ago, but we did an immunity with On Guard. So you can make a warm drink. You can add your favourite uh, herbal tea or herbal tea leaves and a drop of On Guard, maybe a stick of cinnamon. And it's a really um, warming but uh, immune support drink. So you can use that as a drink. Um, and people just use it in so many ways on guard. Um, many, many ways. Many, 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 many ways. I keep going back to tea tree because some, some people put it in the flower water where they've got fresh flowers to help ward off the mold and, and stop the water going a bit icky. Um, so 101 ways with tea tree. Um, on guard, again, just finally in a spray bottle, that's just going to add that power, uh, antibacterial, antiviral power there. And if anyone... Um, hasn't yet they can make their own on guard hand mist or you can buy it from uh, doTERRA um, and it's 99 percent alcohol the doTERRA one so that's useful this time of year just to keep uh, with you so you can spritz it on before you eat if you're eating out and about that's great so the next one we're going to look at um oh i keep going back to tea tree again because of so many things but if you've got an, a cold sore brewing or uh something like um, a mouth ulcer then just apply tea tree straight away just before you get that tingle and it really helps to nip it in the bud or to help it um, quicken uh, the rec recovery sort of speed it up uh, so anything like that tea tree or even on guard but just on guard's a little bit hot so um, that's good you wouldn't be without on guard that's good to know I'm just going to put the chat here so I can use it yeah and I forgot to say with on guard I a good way to start the day if you've got like chronic fatigue or anything like that you can use on guard get out the shower and and have on guard in your bathroom put coconut oil on and a couple of drops of on guard rub it on your feet um you can actually rub it under your arms as well to stimulate your lymphatic system um obviously make sure it's diluted so it's not too spicy but that will really keep you strong over the winter if you feel like you're feeling a bit run down and you didn't want to take a tea, you don't like the taste of it, then just put, um, get get one of your veggie caps there, and just take one now, and you can just put a drop of on guard in, just very simple. Um, two might come out, which is okay for me, and then just take that with a glass of water. Um, you can take it at night time, because when you're in bed and you're sleeping, your body's helping to um, sort of cleanse and get rid of things that, are no longer needed so that's on guard in a veggie capsule if you don't like the taste or it's a bit too spicy and you can also add to that uh, capsule things like oregano lemon um, and all the other sort of immunity oils if you want to make give it an extra boost there we go so um i'm going to move on to oregano because often people say to me it's the only one in the kit that's sort of left there is anyone else like that <laughs> don't use it every day <laughs> um this is incredible for those who are uh, going abroad and they're traveling for a long time and they're scared about the healthcare system out there the cost of healthcare out there if anything happens they get food poisoning or something oregano would be good to take with you as a like an insurance policy as well as your insurance because it helps to it's known as the killer so any parasites anything lurking in food um pathogens things that are going on, stomach flu that you may get, oregano would be a great one to support that. And you could take it in a capsule if, you, if you're if you okay with a strong oil, just see how you, how you go with that. If you prefer not to, then apply it to your feet regularly under your tummy diluted just for tummy problems. Um, but this has really helped. So if you're prone to things like tonsillitis, um, I know I, I sort of had, used to have it quite regularly. So um, I tried on guard, I tried tea tree, tried lemon, but this is what did it. <laughs> so it just shows how, like Deborah's mentioned, on guard's great for her, or tea tree, but on, oregano's my oil. So that's why it's good to experiment and keep going, keep persevering. If, if something's not working, then try. You've got 10 oils here in your kit to try. Um, and every one has a tiny 
different or sometimes big different chemical constituent that provides something different that gets rid of a certain bacteria that the other one doesn't. So that's why it's good to have that combo. And like the flute bomb, does everyone know about the flute bomb? Um, just while we're on oregano, if you combine, um, if you combine frankincense, lemon, oregano, on guard and tea tree together, either in a capsule, one drop of each, or in a roller. So we just get your empty roller here. Take the top off. And you can use one of these. I don't know if you've got one of these keys for helping with the roller, but they come quite uh, freely with um, the rollers that you buy if you're buying them from Amazon. Um, it's a cap remover. So you just take the cap off there. And then what you want to do is just start filling up. If it's a small bottle like this, then maybe five to six drops. Um, so you just put your frankincense in, five, lemon, tea tree, oregano, and on guard. And then all you do is, if you've got a pump top, all the better, because you're just going to squirt the carrier oil in. So it should come up to about there and fill the rest with carrier oil. Put your top on. And you've got your little flute bomb there to support um, all through the year, especially this time of year. And that's just standard sort of based on an adult. But if you've got children, you can just add less drops according to their age. If you want to put your stickers on to know what's in it, that's always useful or make your own stickers up. And if you're worried about um, dilution, if you've got your starter guide, if you haven't got one of these, then just let me know and uh, we'll send you one. You can just look at here. So we've got a five mil uh, bottle, which I've just shown you there. And all we want to do is just add, um, we go. So one drop for those that are one year old. Um, if it's a 10 mil, it's two drops and so forth. So it's a really good guide, just so you know. Um, and if it's just everyday stuff, five drops, like I said. If you want it stronger, feel free to add more oils according to your needs. Um, this is just like an everyday use, but sometimes you might be supporting something really painful or you want more of an intense immune roller, then just add more drops. Um, that's useful. So immune roller would be something that I would definitely do this time of year. Are you messaging? Yeah, it is very strong with the clove, isn't it? Apparently it's one of the highest um, antioxidants uh, on the planet is clove oil so that's in the on guard and second lace cinnamon which is also in the on guard so very powerful blends um so oregano we've mentioned you can gargle it for throat infections you can take it in a capsule to cleanse any tummy uh, viruses parasites things that you think oh, i've got a bit of something dodgy what lurking that i need to get rid of then oregano would be um for you and you can also use it on warts and things like that, really good for warts, fungal infections. It is a hot oil, just like the On Guard. So be careful if you're doing it on warts, make sure the surrounding skin is protected with a carrier. You can use it neat on the wart that surrounding thin skin needs to be um, not. So either like using a cotton bud straight on or something like that. Fungal nail. Um, some people you can buy on Amazon an empty, like a nail varnish container with a brush and you put your you can put your oregano in you can add tea tree to that and then you can just literally brush it over the nail if you've got any sort of athlete foot or fungal nail infection um, obviously you have to be really persistent with it as with anything that you get for fungus maybe three times a day and keep it clean and dry along with that sort of foot powder as well which would be helpful so a great one to use is oregano and a little tip um, maybe if Deborah's listening she could put it in the chat um, about adding a drop or two of oregano to the spray. Maybe you can say it better, Deborah. <laughs> and why we do that, the benefit. You are um, a wealth of information. That's if she's listening. <laughs> okay. So while we're waiting for that, if we move on to the the air blends, how do we all use the air blends? Do we use it regularly? Okay, so it does what it says. It helps to clear the airways. But often we don't, we probably don't use it enough. Maybe we put it in the diffuser, but it's also great for things like sinus issues, 
Um, but also seasonal allergies. If anyone's got any problems with hay fever, feeling bunged up, it really helps. Asthma, things like that. Anything constricted, it really helps to open up the airways again. So if you have a bowl of, of hot water, or warm water, um, and drop it in and, and put your towel over and you can create that steam bath with the air. It's really effective, very antiviral um, and really incredible to get straight in the lungs. So really good to put it on your shower floor if you're really bunged up as well. Um, and I would alternate this time of year because it's got very different antiviral properties to this one and antibacterial. I think these should be like your best friends airing on garden diffuser this time of year. Um, both incredible because so many oils in there. You've got eucalyptus, rabid zara, bay, uh, lemon, tea tree, really anti anti everything, uh, but also really nice and refreshing as well. Um, let's not forget also the emotional side of the oils and how they can help comfort us. And air blend is um, one of the oils that people use for grief um, because we hold grief and trauma in our lungs. So if you if you know of anyone who's struggling with a cough and maybe it's related to a, something that's just happened, then um, give them some air um, and that will be really supportive of them because often we don't, we, we sort of go into a panic mode and our lungs sort of constrict. So using air regularly will really be helpful, not only for our emotions, but also physically as well for our, for our lungs as well. Um, um, and you can make a roller of air. I use a, a roller of air for the kids and just roll it on their feet at night time. You can roll it on the chest and the back um, where the lungs are, and that's really supportive. Um, yeah. Anyone else use air any different ways? I've got some. She's been using air while she work, has worked even better than her asthma treatment. That's really good, yeah. Um, some people put it in an inhaler, to air. Um, and also you can get, some um, nasal inhalers from Amazon or another supplier shop. The empty ones that you would get with the old, like you get an all bath one, or you can make your own. And it comes like that with a with a little cotton wick. So all you do is put your drops of air onto here, onto the cotton wick, and then you pop it in there. And you've got your very own. Put the cap on, and you've got your very own. Um, natural air um inhaler to help cleanse the air so you can just literally um really deep breathe with that to clear your nasal passage as well as everything else so that's a top tip if you, if you struggle with that get some um, nasal inhalers as well and make them for your friends because they're cheap as chip <laughs> and you only need a few drops and it lasts a long time which is useful you can just keep topping it up there we go I also thought what would be so having an on guard one of that to help protect you, you know, during like when you're um, going round and you think somebody might be spreading something, you could just go <laughs> protect you. Um, so thank you for that, Deborah. So oregano is great in our kitchen spray bottle because the scientists stated there are certain spores in our kitchen that or only oregano will kill. So she popped two drops in a, in a 500 ml glass bottle, which not sure but anyway two two or three drops would be wonderful and um, just to give it that extra power thank you for that um that's lovely so we're gonna move on to zen jest there we go don't know how how you all use this um i find it great for travel sickness my kids are prone to feeling nauseous i don't know if it's boys and hormones but they're always saying i feel sick well for a period of time anyway i don't know if it's their age um yes colette <laughs> oh, no. sorry i was trying i was trying i was trying to type yes i have used that um when my stomach was really ill and um i thought here it goes i'm going to try it and i found it amazing absolutely amazing i just put a drop or two on my hand and i rubbed it right onto my uh, my tummy uh, the, the area i felt really ill and it was it was really really helpful. So oh, sorry for coming on, voice. I should have typed down. Oh no, here. that's fine. That's fine. Anytime. No, that's good. No, it's really good to have um yeah. other people's yeah. experiences as well. Yeah, amazing. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Um, so like like Colette said, you can rub it over the tummy, and that has an instant effect. 
um, within minutes people feel better especially if you've eaten too much of something you think oh I feel so uncomfortable uh, I would definitely rub it on your tummy but I would also either put it in some water or in one of those veggie capsules and get that down you yeah? because the ginger and the other oils in there really help with the gas the bloating but also help you absorb your food better um, I think it's the carbon in the in in some of the oils in there really helps you to get that absorption as well. Um, so yeah, it may be something that you use regularly if you've got um things that are persistent, or it may be that you use it every now and again if you've eaten something that you maybe shouldn't have. Um, but whatever it is, Zen Jeff is brilliant. And you know what? Sometimes air might not do it for you with the sinuses. Sometimes it's a game changer, but sometimes you need Zen Jeff for unblocking the sinuses so if you're prone to it and you, you find it works so just try to test it out by putting a few drops of coconut oil drop a two of then jet over the sinus area and if it if it does help clear you because you'll feel it if it does then make a roller like a sinus roller you can even add air with it as well if you're prone to sinus problems and then you can just have it there obviously not too close to the eyes but it, it's so effective for your sinuses is, is a then jet it should be called then Jeff and air together because it does both really. Um, yeah, pregnant women if they've got like nausea or anything like that, just breathing. Just simply open the bottle and breathe, and it really helps to ward off that that nausea and sickness. There we go. Um, I'm just going to move on to lavender because there's so many ways we can use lavender, isn't there? Um, I don't know if you want to comment how you use it um yeah headaches as well that's a good point then just for headaches and sinuses thank you for that um yeah so lavender we'll pop it in the chat how you, your favorite way to use lavender um great in the diffuser for nighttime add air to it great with wild orange really relaxing um so a really good sleep routine would be to get get yourself a jar of uh, epsom salt and put maybe 10 15 drops of lavender stir that in so it all absorbs add yourself add it to a nice top bath get your diffuser on with lavender uh, and then when you're in bed you can do some nice massaging on your feet with a drop of lavender drop of frankincense if you want to treat yourself even more breathe it in feet wherever you want pulse points and then you can even make, make a nice lavender linen spray with spray bottle um and you'll just be soaked in lavender uh, some people make lavender scones um using the lavender it is pharmaceutical grade so you can take this internally if you want to calm the body and reduce the response like maybe you've got a rash or uh, something um even like anything heat rash anything like that lavender would really help to calm the body internally as well as the skin so um Often I use a veggie cap and put lavender, lemon and peppermint in to help with that natural antihistamine calming um, or just lavender. So before sleep, you can make your own capsule, sleep capsule with lavender and frankincense if you want to take it internally or under the tongue. Um, some people take it in water, but I don't like anything floral tasting really. Mm -hmm. So it, it's <laughs> each of their own really, isn't it? <laughs> um. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Jane uses it as she has a talk. Do you rub it over mm. you? Yeah, good over the, the old throat area with lavender to help with uh, speaking confidently. Um, and Jane, she is a real, a real advocate of lavender mixed with frankincense for sleep. And it's really helped Jane go from three mm. hours sleep to seven or eight hours every time. So she swears by lavender. And she, I think it's all right to say, Jane, you, you massage your feet and you massage it right up to your knees. Oh, you let oh right up to your neck, <laughs> all over. <laughs> you can say you can open up if you want. Unmute. <laughs> up to my knees. Yeah. Oh, feet, okay. feet to knees, and then throw it behind ears, and then pulse points, and heel, and that's me. I'm out. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. yeah you can't go wrong. And if you've got lavender in a spray bottle, um. I, I always have an ouch spray with me, but if you've got lavender, if somebody's back, got a burn or a bite, just put lavender straight on, neat, if you want to, and it really helps. But keep on top of it as well. Don't just put it on once. Keep on top of it every every half an hour if it's a burn, and it's really, really good. 
that is lavender. I'm sure there's so many ways we can use lavender that we haven't covered. Um, we've done scones, we've done bath salts, skin irritation, cups, blisters, yeah. Oh, that's really powerful as well for headaches and migraine. Just applying lavender to the temples really just calms uh, the tension. It might not take it all away, but it might do. Just depends on the headache. Um, some people find peppermint is great for that. And moving on, we might as well use peppermint now because it's like the Swiss Army knife in your kit. So it might be something that you use a lot. How do you all use peppermint? What's your favourite ways? Um, so I use peppermint um, to wake me up in the afternoon. Um, I also use it to clear the airway because air is great, but, but peppermint seems to just blow your brains off <laughs> if you need that shock, you know. Um, peppermint in hot chocolate, so a drop of peppermint to have that minty hot chocolate would be nice. Some people put wild orange as well in hot chocolate. Um, great in the diffuser with wild orange. It's, it's a beautiful one. Um, we had a visitor actually and um it, it was a man so he wasn't really into that kind of thing but he just came and he went oh my goodness what is that smell that is amazing <laughs> and it was the uh, wild orange and peppermint so that is a winner combination if you ever need one um peppermint pop into your hands yeah if in doubt just put a drop of peppermint in your hands and sometimes we do this with people and um, maybe we've had a long day uh, I know I've did it with my friends in the car. Long day, like everyone's just like really like ready to go to sleep. Come on, everyone, let's have a perk up. Let's have a peppermint smell. Maybe add wild orange as well. Just really perks everyone up. Put the rest of it on the back of your neck to cool your neck. Um, it's really cooling. So I know I've got a friend who, who I spend a lot of time with. She's prone to hot flushes. She's constantly fanning herself. She just douses herself with peppermint to cool her down. Um, but it's great in a drink as well. You know, you can make your own peppermint tea with one drop of peppermint even one drop might be too much for you or half a drop in some warm water after a meal and just to help with the digestion as well you've got zen jest but peppermint's so effective for your digestion so like colette said about rubbing it the zen jest over your tummy you can rub the peppermint over just the same way um yeah so it's just really versatile and let's not forget peppermint's great for pain um as we said before it's a driver so it helps to um increase the circulation, increase increase the blood flow to the area. So if you've got any painful areas, just put peppermint straight on. and um, You can dilute it if you've got sensitive skin. And um, sometimes peppermint just solves all the problems. You don't need any others, but feel free to try the others with it as well because we've got a lot of ones for pain. Um, anyone else got any use of peppermint? Oh, for gallbladder pain. And would you apply that over the gallbladder area? Is that right? Just asking. Yeah. 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 That's lovely. So topical use over the gallbladder. Yeah. Yeah. So there's so many ways we can use it topically. We can use it uh, aromatically, breathing that in and um, internally in a capsule or in tea um, or in a hot chocolate. So that's peppermint. Um, okay. So the next one we're going to go on, talking of pain, we're going to use the deep blue blend now. So if you don't use this as much as you should, there's lots of ways that you can use deep blue. You can you can do a muscle soak with it with some Epsom salts. Again, same with the lavender or magnesium flakes and put drops of deep blue in, stir it in, have that jar, you know, by your bath side so you can you can put in um, as you need. You can add other oils like frankincense to it or even lavender, but really soothing. Um, also good for actually, it's, it's known as the, soothing blend but it's also quite comforting as well so if you're really quite stressed um it's actually really comforting so um try deep blue for your emotions as well but really good for headache you know any any sort of arthritis or joint pain if you find it's not strong enough add more drops and add peppermint to drive it into the muscle but definitely use a carrier oil, use massage to really get that deeper into the tissue and use a heat pack over the top if you can. If you've got one of those wheat bags or um, a hot towel or something, it'd be really soothing around the neck area, headaches, even period pain, you can use deep blue right underneath. Um, and it's great for uh, headaches, yeah. Lovely blends. Um, and don't forget, you can also add your peppermint, frankincense, um, and even... 
lavender to that to increase uh, the effects of that. And if you found something that you're successful with, with any of these in the kit, you think, oh, that's a great blend. I've got this, you know, this comes up quite often. Make yourself a roller using those blend, uh, blends of oils so you've got your own to keep and you don't have to keep getting each oil out. So that's, that's why the rollers are handy um, once you've found your magic blend that really works for you. Oh, that's good. It also works for fibromyalgia pain, um, Charlene commented. Thank you for that, Charlene. That's really useful because a lot of people struggle with that, don't they? Let's not forget, last but not least, frankincense. Um, let us know how you all use it. I have been taking frankincense for a while now. I think it's definitely helped me stay active and have energy through the day and, and stop me being um, as ill as I, I would be if I didn't. So I just take a drop of frankincense under the tongue um, I also, if I can, um, apply it to my moisturiser, just one drop um, as a moisturiser for the face or body. Um, you can make a roller of frankincense and maybe lavender, great for wrinkles and skin support. So you can just roll it under your eyes just at night time, just to help rejuvenate the skin. But it's just great for any sort of scar tissue, scarring, things that won't heal on the skin drop of frankincense it really supports the cell to repair and that that includes skin cells but also brain cells so if you've got that frankincense yeah for everything then you can just roll it on your temples let's say you've got to concentrate for two hours roll it on your temples add lemon for focus back of the neck where the brain stem is um breathe it in and you will smell lovely as well um some people say frankincense Smells like a museum. Anyone else thought that? <laughs> Very ancient smelling. Beautiful. So yeah, if in doubt, use frankincense. Treat yourself as well. Don't leave it. If you've got a full frankincense in this kit, I'll be very disappointed because you deserve to have a drop a day in some form, uh, whether it's on your feet or diffusing. <laughs> very good. Um, Let's see if we've covered everything. If I haven't, please unmute. Um, and just remind yourself of the seasonal allergy blend while we're here. So we've got lemon, lavender, and peppermint there. Levin, lavender, lemon, and peppermint, and they're your natural antihistamine blends. Thanks, Charlene. That's lovely. Yeah. Have a restful evening too. Um, so you can put these three in the diffuser, and you can also make your own antihistamine with um. A veggie cap so i've got a drop of lavender lemon and peppermint in let's say you've got a rash uh some people have a, like an allergic reaction to maybe a different washing powder or something anything anything that causes a rash generally it's recommended you take some sort of antihistamine just to calm the body down so do that um but you could also make um like a hay fever roller with those three oils in and then during that time of season, hay fever season, even now with the change in season, it's still useful. Just put it under your nose, on your feet, um, maybe on your hands and breathe it in um, before you, um, when it when it's that time when there's lots of pollen around. Um, but naturally, even if it's just to help you breathe um, at this time of year, then you can use that, those three, as well as the air. So I'd, I'd, I'd use that combination and shake it up a bit. Um, and then if I'm just trying to think any more, we've done cleaner. Um, you can use, make your own hand wash with a pub bottle um, using some Castile soap as well. Um, so just filling it, I think, sort of, have a look, 60 ml of Castile soap, fill the rest with water, doTERRA sell this pump, uh, foaming pump top, and then add your own guard. But there's lots of different things you can add, like lavender, tea tree, um, and make your own hand soap. So generally, you'll, you'll get to the point where it's just this kit and some vinegar is all you need in life. <laughs> and when you go to the supermarket, you won't be buying soap, you're making your own soap. Um, you won't be buying spray, you'll make your own green cleaning spray. But everything you're doing is detoxifying uh, your sort of toxic load. And you'll find your hormones will, will thank you for it. Your family will thank you because they're not having to uh, process all those toxins. Your pets will be healthier as well because you're cleaning and doing everything without those toxins. So um, whether you, you're concerned about health or you just um, you just want to be more natural, 
um, it doesn't matter. Whatever you do, you're gonna you're gonna benefit the whole family. So um I will leave it there and I'm just going to see if anyone's got any questions. <laughs>